South African wine called Stormhook is taking the international wine market by storm by using new and innovative marketing techniques. Janine Cameron takes a closer look at this wine and their creative take on advertising. After over 20 successful years in advertising, Graham Knox decided to call it quits and take on a new challenge, namely that of winemaking. Little did he know that his background in marketing would help him create a wine success story. Nestled in the Bainscliffe Mountains near Wellington, just outside of Cape Town, you'll find the Stormhook Wine Estate, which was established only five years ago. Considering that some Western Cape estates have been operating for over a century, it's safe to call Stormhook Wines the new kid on the block. And these new kids are creating quite a stir. Their mission was simple. They wanted to create an affordable range of wines that could be mass-produced for both the local and international markets. And to do that, they opted for a non-traditional method of leasing equipment and vineyards instead of buying them. We came up with a plan that we should take uh, the principles that we used here, the vit viticulture style, the winemaking style, and use other people's vineyards and uh, use other people's equipment when we needed to, uh, to be able to reduce the cost per litre and, and keep the, uh, the techniques that we used exactly the same. So we, we made no compromise on quality but uh, we reduced the cost per bottle, so we would be able to sell a, a larger volume at a cheaper price. And by cheaper price, we, we, we look to go into the uh, UK market at uh, £5.99, £6, and uh, the US market at uh, $12, $11.99. In South Africa, that translates into about 40 rands, 45 rands, so it's kind of middle of the market. Stormhook then also chose a different route to market their wines. Instead of mass marketing, the wine producer chose a more personal promotional technique, namely that of blogging and social marketing. We started the Stormhook blog, stormhook.com. Uh, first post was in April 2005. And uh, it staggered along until we met a guy called Hugh McLeod, who was a very popular British blogger. Uh, at that time, he had the fourth most popular blog in the UK. It's a lifestyle blog. He writes about his life. He writes about what he thinks is interesting. It's very controversial and he has, of course, very big readership That's as a result of it. He found this concept of uh, what we were trying to do, this tiny little wine uh, production unit in South Africa, uh, taking on the big wine brands of the world, or the big liquor brands of the world, through his effort into the whole program with us. And, and he communicated with a lot of other bloggers. It's, he got other bloggers to start writing about us, mm -hmm. but things took off from there. By getting internet bloggers to write about their wine and their experiences of Stormhook, the electronic word of mouth about this new wine spread rapidly. Within a few months we had uh, thousands of hits per month, uh, hundreds of thousands of hits per month. And the blog grew through a number of um, uh, phases to the point where uh, just before Christmas last year we were averaging about a million hits a day. And uh, we were in the and uh, Stormhook.com was in the top 10,000 uh, most popular blogs in the world, and out of 150 million, that's not too bad. The next step in their advertising campaign involved a series of cheeky posters and T-shirts that were irreverent and funny and struck a chord with the consumers. Somebody at one stage had said, "You know, you guys have got such a lot of support amongst the kind of under 40, bright young people of South Africa. Uh, it's like all these people are like hookers for." for a storm hook. So I said, we gotta work with this hooker's name. So uh, uh, we came up with a t-shirt that, uh, uh, that made an enormous effect. Uh, and so then I had people begging me to sell them my t-shirt, my one and only t-shirt. <laughs> so the next talk I gave, I had piles of t-shirts. Graham Knox also believes that the traditional marketing techniques need a rethink when it comes to the wine market. Wine is a craft People, the consumer, the average person sees, or the wine drinker, sees high quality wine as handmade, crafted product. The more you give the impression of it being mass produced, no matter how brilliantly, uh, you diminish the value in the bottle, in, in the perception of the consumer. And so uh, the, the, uh, the only effective way to communicate uh, the, that you make this product with love and care is by talking to them. And it's either words on the page from you, directly from you, or on a screen, uh, directly from you. The more money you spend on, on one-way uh, imposed advertising messages, 
uh, the less you actually do for your brand and in fact may have a negative uh, impression. Stormox says they're always looking for new personal marketing techniques and it shows. Their label was the first wine producer that had a listed group on the now fastest growing social networking site, Facebook. Mm -hmm.